Okay, welcome. This is my class, um, urban class. Welcome to urban class. Today we're going to be talking about Ayn Rand and the virtue of selfishness. Let's see. Um, for those of you who want to come early, like Mohammed here, right? You have, you have a premium account. Let's see, Mohammed, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Do you hear me? I do hear you. I do hear you. Okay, cool. You've got, fine. Of, you've got a lot of background noise, Mohammed. Okay, I'm going to fix that. Okay, yeah. Okay, that sounds much better, Mohammed. That's not. Okay, good. So, um, Mohammed, where are you from? Okay, I'm from uh, France. From France, okay, great. great. Okay. All right. And so, Mohammed, why, why are you learning English? Uh, I'm learning English because, uh, first of all, I like this uh, language. Okay. This is the first reason. And uh, I need it for, for my future job. Okay, but what is your what job do you want to get? Okay, uh, I'm I'm still a student. I'm in business school. Okay, great. So okay. I think we need English. I need English. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Okay, so and so um, what what area in business? Okay, economy, uh, accounting, and finance. Oh, well, good, well, good, excellent. Well, yeah. I'm glad you're here. This should be pretty good. Thank you so much. Okay, then we've got uh, Miguel. Miguel, how are you? Okay, Miguel, we've got a lot of. Uh, I want you to look at your audio issues. I can't oh, hear you, but I'm. Can you there. hear me? That's much better. Much better. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, good. I'm fine. Good. Okay. And so, Miguel, are you from Spain, or was that Miguel I was talking to? Yes, I'm from Spain, Valencia. It's a city, the third city of Spain. Oh, good, good, okay, good. And so, um, Miguel, why are why are you learning English? Uh, like Mohammed, I think it's important for my job, and here in Spain, it's important for get a good job because we have a lot of unemployment rate. So, right, right. if you only have an English level right, you can get a better job. That's good. That's good. And so what, what area, what job area are you looking at? Like Mohammed, I'm studying in a business school, okay. like okay. business administration, accounting, finance. I like the startups mm -hmm. and that stuff. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, before I go any further, you guys, uh, how is my connection? Am I talking like a robot? <laughs> it's a little slow, like you know, with slow. pixel and but it's okay. Okay, okay. Let me know if it gets bad. If I start talking like a robot, I'll, I'll turn off my video. I don't want. I don't want that. It looks like it does seem like it's going. You are Eric. Oh no. Okay. Um, it seems like sometimes my internet goes really good and then it falls and it's. Yeah. Frustrating. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to turn on the camera for right now. We'll, I might turn on it a little later, but let's see if that improves the quality of my voice at the very least. So, um, Mohammed, are you raising your hand there? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> it looked like you were raising your hand. Okay, well, good. All right, let's see. Manal, Manal, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. It's a good day. Tell me, Tell me the good news. The nothing, I have nothing. Okay, no good news. Actually, I feel, really, I feel bored. You feel bored? Yeah. Oh, well, if you, maybe you could sing for us or, I don't know, perform for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, well, good. Then I, I, I will, I'm going to make you speak a lot today, Manal, so you're not bored. How about that? Okay. Okay, I think that's good. Good, good. Okay, let's see. Uh, we'll move over to, to Mina. Mina, how are you? Hey, teacher. It's good. How are you? Good. It, it looks like you're no longer a muscle man, but you're a 
You're a duck. I returned it to... Someone has bailed me. I, I didn't recognize, recognize you. <laughs> it's, such a, it's such a sad looking duck too. <laughs> well, well, Mina, what, what's, what's the good news in your life? What's what's going on? What's new? Um, I just uh, <laughs> bought my uh, last exam, so and in English course, hey. and I'm moving to. I got A minus. Oh, perfect, perfect. Oh wow. Yes. Well, that is excellent yeah. news. Yes. Thank you. Well, good, Many, Mina. I'm glad you joined us today. Let's see. We've got uh, Wolf. Wolf, how are you? Fine, and you, Eric? I'm good. I'm good. It's a good day. Well, if you close, if you, if you close your camera for your son, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't. No. Oh, it, does my voice still sound? Yeah. All right. Well, then I'll, I might as well just keep it on, right? All it's, right. It's, yeah, it's the same. Now it's the same. Okay. I tell you what I could do. Um. If it continues to be bad the entire class, I will reset my router in between classes, so maybe next class will be better. I don't know why it does this sometimes, so I apologize. Okay. So, um, how are things with you, Wolf? What's new? It's okay. Okay. Nothing. Nothing new. Nothing new. Bad news. Okay. Well, that works. That works. That works. Let's see. And then. Uh, We've got Razgul. Razgul, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Nothing new, same old story. <laughs> there you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, yeah one thing is new. Yet. I'm sorry, it what? Snowing. It was snowing yesterday, and all the things are covered with snow here in Albany. Oh, it's okay. I know outside here it's it's finally stopped snowing, but it's, it's raining now. So it's. Mm. When will things get warm? I don't know. <laughs> Here in America, it's always a cold for yeah. an Asian. <laughs> right, right. Well, okay, you guys, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Um, I do want you guys to know, I've, I've got a sore throat today. Um, my voice is fine right now, but who knows? Maybe after two classes, I may start to lose my voice, so... I apologize if that happens. I might start coughing too. So I apologize ahead of time. Okay. Um, so today, you guys, we're going to talk about Ayn Rand. Um, I know Miguel mentioned that he knows a little bit about Ayn Rand. Does anyone else know who Ayn Rand is, or have they heard of her? Yes. <laughs> okay. So Wolf has. No, never. Okay. Then some haven't. Okay. Um, Especially in U.S. politics right now, she's somewhat big. People like her uh, for some of the things she says. So we're going to talk about her, and then we're going to talk about kind of what her views are on government and, and, and the economy. Um, personally, she's not my favorite, but that's okay. So it could be you guys' favorite, and I, I will try and defend her the best I can if I need to. So She, she is mother of capitalism. Exactly, exactly, yes. So she is, she is a big fan of laissez-faire capitalism. Okay. Good, okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys a, a beautiful picture of Van Rand. This is what she looks like. Um, I really like this hat. I want to have that hat someday. Is she still alive? No, no, she died. Oh, let's see. In 83, I think. In 83? I think that would probably... That would sound... No, good. 82. Let's see. Oh. I wasn't even born. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, 82, 82. Okay, yeah, I wasn't born either. So, she definitely wasn't born. Okay, did everyone get the link? No. Yes. Okay, I will go ahead and share the link for those that didn't. Um, today we're, we're going to be reading a book of hers called The Virtue of Selfishness, right? <laughs> okay, cool. So let's go ahead and we're going to open this. 
with the virtue of selfishness. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And again, she's going to think about it a little bit differently, right? So we're going to read a couple parts, and then I'm going to explain kind of what her ideas are, um, and then we're going to talk about it, okay? So really what we're going to do first is we're going to jump down here to a part where she talks about altruism. And before we even read about that, does anyone know what altruism is? What is altruism? Altruism? Mm -hmm. It's been thinking for others, well, goodness, wellness, without any... Uh... Otherness. Yeah, yeah, this is good, yeah. To, to think about other people without any yeah. reward for yourself. Yeah, without, without expecting them to do anything for you. Exactly, yeah. So it's essentially it's thinking about other people. And for Ayn Rand, she is, she's not a big fan of altruism. She thinks that's, that's not the ideal, right? Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to read a couple areas right here. We're going to, let's see. Um, oh, someone's falling around. Okay, so you guys, can you guys see that okay? Can you guys see my screen? No, we, we can see you. Oh, well, that's not going to help at all. <laughs> OK, how about now? Yeah, no, no it's OK. OK, yes. perfect. Can I have a volunteer for someone to read this? Can I try? Please, go ahead. OK. Um, the ethics of altruism has created the image of the brute as it answer in order to make man accept two inhuman nets, that any concern with one's own interest is evil, regardless of what this interest may be, and that the brute's activities are in fact to want one interest, which altruism enjoins man to renounce for the sake of his neighbor, neighbors. Okay, good. Say this again. Own interest. Own interest. Own interest. Good. Okay. Before we move on, any questions about any of these words here? Inhuman tenets. Okay, good. So first, what does inhuman mean? Unhuman? Yeah, unhuman. Yeah, yeah, unhuman. So something that, that isn't rational, it's, it's not like human beings, good. And what is tenets? Does anyone know what tenets are? Your way of thinking? Yeah, yeah, so they're like ideas or facts, okay? Perfect, okay. Um, and then, do, do you guys know what a brute is? What's a brute? Brutal. <laughs> Someone mean, maybe. Yeah, right. yeah, okay, that, that's a good way of looking at it. It's to an animal. Violent. Yeah, an animal or, or someone that's violent, or someone that's brutal. Good, okay. All right, now we're going to jump down here, and we're going to read these two paragraphs. So can I have a volunteer for someone to read these two paragraphs? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. There are two moral questions with altruism lumps together into one package deal. Number one, what are values? Number two, who should be the beneficiary of values? Altruisms, altruism substitutes the second for the first. It evades the task of defining a code of moral values, thus leaving man, in fact, without moral guidance. Altruism declares that any action taken for the benefit of others is good, and any action taken for one's own benefit is evil. Thus, the beneficiary of an action is the only criterion of moral value, and so long as that beneficiary is anybody other than oneself, anything goes. Okay, cool. Before I explain this here, any questions about what these words mean? Lumps? What's lumps? Lumps, lumps. Okay, lumps. lumps. What does lumps mean, you guys? Lump. Mm, collection of something. Yeah, yeah, to put something together. Yeah, to make a collection of something. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, any other questions? Nothing. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Uh, do you guys know what the beneficiary is? Do you know what that yeah. means? Yeah. Benefits. Yeah. 
Yeah, the person that benefits from yeah. something. Yeah, say more than French. Oh, good, good, okay. All right, so going back here, um, essentially what she's saying here, right, is when we talk about altruism, right, um, it leaves us, well, we'll get to, okay, so she basically says, whenever you do something for someone else, that makes it good, and whenever you do something for yourself, that's bad, right? That's what the ethics of altruism says. Self-interest, bad. Helping other altruism, good, right? And she says, no, that is terrible. That I don't like that at all, right? For her, what she believes, right, is that we, we decide our morality. Okay? We choose what we value. So we choose the things that are important, right? Other people should not choose what's important to us, right? And so when we choose what's important to us, then obviously it's self-interest. So if I say that learning English is my value, that I make it a good thing to go after it, I, it I'm, it's my self-interest, right? Now, again, um, that's how she parts, that's part of how she views selfishness, right, is your rational self-interest, right? But again, she says it's a bad thing when someone, someone else is determining your values, right? So if someone else is saying, listen, you worked really hard for your money, Okay, but you need to give it to the poor, right? She will say that as a bad thing because you did not decide that value. Someone else decided that value for you, okay? And so that's part of why she thinks that altruism is bad, okay? Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah, yes. she yeah. looks capitalist. What's that? She, uh, she looks uh, um, capitalist. Yes, you know? she, is, she is a, a complete laissez-faire capitalism. She, she is not capitalist. She, she is, is mother of the capitalism. She is above yeah. the capitalism. <laughs> yes, she is all about capitalism. Yeah. So let, let's talk about this. We're going to talk about it in kind of a, a, a personal, not a governmental level first. And then we're going to talk about governments. So we're going to talk about uh, the economy, right? So first of all, what, what did you guys think about that? Any impressions? Any ideas? I, I have an opinion about that. Go ahead. So if I understand well, um, Ayn Rand said that uh, there is, there is um, selfishness is something good for her. Mm. That's yes. correct. Yes. But I'm not agree because uh, even even when we uh, we are altruist, mm -hmm. I mean when we do something for people, uh, we gain something because we like it. Mm -hmm. So in each situation, we can win something. So this is why I'm uh, I disagree with her. Okay, okay. So again, being altruistic, I could still gain something. So it shouldn't yeah. be wrong from that. Okay. Mm. Right. Um, any other thoughts, you guys? Okay. See, her her idea is a really suitable for uh, capitalism, mm -hmm. especially for consumption, is because selfishness is good for. Uh, which is which country is capitalist? It supports and mm -hmm. runs because his ideas and beliefs really, uh, uh, I mean, push the people go. I mean, consume. If, if you look at uh, his thoughts, his only important thing in life in your life, just uh, yourself. Mm -hmm. It means. You have to consume. Consume means overconception. Overconception means capitalism. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you guys do you guys think it's a bad thing to live for other people? Right. So instead of living for myself, I live for other people. Yeah, of course, because you have to live for your family, for mm -hmm. your kids, for your friends. Mm -hmm. It's a holds important place in your life. Mm -hmm. You can't deny your children, your father, your mother. They are important for you. Mm -hmm. I don't know for for people. Yeah, I mean, I mean not just only for you. For okay. for everybody, is, I think it's important. You can uh, leave them. Right. So do you think? Do you think if, if yeah. I'm going to be if I'm going to be a good parent, a good parent, I need to put my kids' wants and needs ahead of mine. Or can I still be a good parent if I put my wants and needs before my kids? 
actually to me i think that you have to live for yourself to help others i mean um if if um i don't know if if you live for yourself it that does not mean that you are selfish okay it does not mean that you're selfish and, and also no. if you work oh, sorry 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 go on. okay manal and then wolf go ahead Oh, you're finished. Okay, okay, okay. And then wolf. In 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 certain places, I mean, if your uh, jobs or your business line uh, in uh, in a certain places, like a president and politician, mm -hmm. or maybe you are a really uh, uh, major tycoon, uh, a lot of people depends dependent on you because you give them job. You. You, you wouldn't be selfish because you have to uh, think uh, to other people because if you you have because you have responsibility responsibility means just uh, thinking other people more carefully if you wouldn't think other people uh, carefully and escape your responsibility I mean it's win your business and win on society for instance if you play in a football team you have to work uh, in a team because if you wouldn't work uh, with your teammates your team in the end they lose the game and we because of your selfishness is and we uh, is affected uh, a lot of people not uh, it's I mean it's, it's a cost is really big it's not just for you it's affected for at the in the end will affect a lot of people because of your selfishness. Okay, yeah, so again, your selfishness can affect a lot of people, and sometimes it may be to your benefit to put someone else's desires before your own, because sometimes that can turn around and help you. So, for example, like you said, with the idea of a team, right, um, maybe you want to be the star, right, but if there's someone else that can make the point, right, and they get all the glory, but you still win. You still win the game, and that's what you want, right? But if you work as a team, right? Yeah, because your your team is a lose. It means because of you, mm -hmm. because uh, your mistakes cost cost uh, your team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Any other thoughts? Okay. L let me give give an example here. Um, that may be good here. So I think in some societies, right, there there have been where mothers stay home, right? Mothers stay home to raise the children and fathers go to work, right? I think now it's that's a little harder to do. And I think in certain times in history that's been hard to do and has never been the case because of the economy, right? But if you had a case in which the father who's going to work makes enough money for the mom to stay home with the kids, right? But the mom says, listen, I really enjoy going to work, right? I really enjoy being, let's say, um, the owner of a business, right? Now, I don't need to go to work, but I want to, right? Now, is she a bad mother for wanting to put her interest to run a company ahead of needing to stay home with her kids, right? So instead she says, I'm going to put my kids in in daycare to be taken care of by someone else, right? Now, is that wrong of her to pursue her interest above taking care of her children? Well, yes. in that case, yeah, she's she's selfish. I mean, why why you get married and and and, uh, and get kids if if you are thinking that you want to go to work? Mm -hmm. Actually, this is your work. Is your work is to be a mother? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go, let's go why? I think that's uh, her desire to do things and she wanted to do it and uh, it's not related to selfishness. She's not selfish, she enjoys that work and she, she wants to do that. Okay, so she, 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 she should be able to do that, right? To but, but so, sorry. If she, if she, sorry. If she, if she can able to, to, um, to do, uh, I don't know how to say it, um, I don't know, Eric, help me. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know how to say it in English. Um, oh my gosh, I miss you. Okay, continue. I'll... No, 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 but no, no, no. What are you trying to say? I'll, I'll try and help. I don't know if when if she can um, do this, the the both work. I mean, as a mom and as uh, as an employee. So then that it, it's all right. <laughs> Uh, so it, get my yeah, so if she can do both, then it's okay. But if she ends up yeah. right, can 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 I have something about uh, altruism? Yeah, let, let's go wolf, and then then we'll come back to you, mom. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, sorry. But I, but she is first responsibility her kids mm -hmm. because if she sacrifices your kids for job, it's uh, uh, going to be not moral. Every mother have a responsibility because because I respect uh, his her desire to work, mm -hmm. but it, it, if she sacrifices her kid, I mean her kid, mm -hmm. it's uh, not acceptable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, if she ends up sacrificing her kids, mother, know. I mean mo mother uh, would do sacrifice uh, her kids uh, to uh, her job. Right, right. Yeah, kids, kids first and then job. Okay, so if she can do both, that's okay, yeah. right? Okay, it's. But I, I guess what I really want to ask, though, is again, when it comes down to it, at the very, very minimum, the bare minimum, are, it, should she put her own desires above her kids' desires, or she does she put her kids' desires above her own? What would make a better mother, or a better person? Balance. What's that? Mina? Balance. 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 Okay. Can I say? Go ahead, Chris. Um, the reason why women can want women want to go to work, mm -hmm. I guess it can be um, provoked by the fact that she's not satisfied by her, um, by her. I don't know. Um, she she needs some more self respect, uh, and it should be if if she has a really good husband, who always tells her good things for, uh, thank you you do so much for us thank you for growing our kids in such uh, good conditions. Uh, such women will be satisfied by her life, mm -hmm. and maybe in this case she won't uh, need to go to find any job and in case when she's not uh, she she doesn't get um, um, something really important for life doesn't feel herself confident doesn't feel herself well doesn't feel um, uh, attention to her person doesn't feel enough respect and she and she should take it from somewhere else for example, at work, and she um, she hopes uh, she can mm, hope that there she will get all um, that she needs. Uh, for example, no, there people will help her, uh, will will uh, say her thank you, or we need you. You are so good here. Uh, what can we do without you? And if she gets. Um, at home, she doesn't. She won't go there, I guess. Okay. So again, maybe what we're saying is, is you know, again, she can make her value to be a mother, right? She can want to be a really good mother, but she it needs to be fulfilling. Right? So again, that could be the self-interested part. But Nicolette, or let's see, Nick, Nisea, Nilsea, you are you've got a lot of background noise, and so I'm going to mute you. If you want to speak, you can unmute yourself. But for now, keep yourself muted, okay? Okay, so yes, yeah, so again, if that's if that's what she wants to be, and she's getting what she wants out of it, yeah, then maybe it'd be good. But if she doesn't, she can be self-interested to find something else. Right? Yes, okay. but maybe she she can't find any ways at home, and she feels lonely. And uh, uh, husband, if he works too much, he doesn't give her enough attention. And uh, that she needs. 
and for example, she can't um, uh, occupy it herself. I don't know how to say it, to find some activities. Um, and as for kids, it's also a bit ambiguous uh, mm -hmm. how you uh, how you treat your mother or if she if she should work or not. Uh, I've seen many examples of uh, when mother um, conse um, how to say gave all her life to kids and they're completely um, um, think thankness mm -hmm. <laughs> thankless yeah thankless huh? or she, she thankless. goes unthanked she goes unthanked yes mm -hmm. and they can even profit no uh, always profit by her um, by her work and work for us take money to her without giving anything and when um, and it's a bad example so they couldn't give uh, they can't give in the future um, something uh, good to their children it's also some kind of bad thing I guess. okay okay I see I see okay um any other thoughts you guys on this mm. I think that it it's related to self satisfaction mm -hmm. of of the woman or wife. It's not related to the wife if she is happy with the, her husband or not, mm -hmm. because uh, most of the working women don't work like if they are not happy with their husbands. They are working for satisfaction to fulfill the demands of their desire. Right. Right. That they're working because they want. Maybe they're yeah. an ambitious type of person, right? That, that yeah. Wants. Yeah. Okay. Well good. Okay. So you guys let's let's jump over and let's talk about again. Let's talk about government. Right. So we can talk about laissez faire capitalism. Um, so one of the ideas here is again it's she thinks, Anne Rand, that it would be wrong for someone to say, listen, you earned your money, but you need to give some of it to the poor, right? You need to give some of it to other people, even though you worked hard, right? Now, what do you guys think? Is is something like welfare, is that wrong? You, uh, you said that, in fact, she said that we don't have to give money for the poor, yes? Okay, well, it's, it's not that. I, I think, again, if it was within your interest, if your goal is to help the poor, then I think, again, I'm not completely sure, but I think she would say, that's okay. That's okay, right? But if it is your ethics. You are creating that is your right and wrong, right? But if someone else says, listen, Mohammed, even yeah. though you don't think so, it is the right thing to give your money to other people, then she would say, that's wrong. Um, um, okay, come on, go ahead. No, okay, you, you first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, I'm, you know, what I want to say. Imagine, for instance, me, I'm learning uh, accounting and finance, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, after my, my study, uh, I will have a job. I will earn money, you know? But I didn't create account and finance. I learned that from someone else. And this guy who teach me this, learn it from someone else, you know? So what I want to say, if, if uh, a man creates something uh, from nothing, mm -hmm. he, can, he can be selfish, you know? Because he created everything. Uh, do, do, do you, you, know, you know what I mean? If, um, but we depend uh, from each other. So how, how can I be selfish? It's, for me, it's impossible. We have to, to help poor, to help people, because what I learned come from someone else. So I have to, I don't know, to keep the path no, to help people. But you, you can think at the, yeah, at the same time, you can think, I earned everything myself. I, I've been studying for long. I've spent many hours on books. Uh, I've worked, uh, I don't know how many hours a day. So why should I give what I earned, what I really earned, to those who maybe did nothing in their life uh, to have uh, 
to earn money. And there are okay. many people like this. I can I can I answer that? Go ahead, Miguel. Uh, okay. Listen. Imagine uh, now you you have money. I, imagine. Okay, imagine uh, now you have money, you have a house, you have life, it's okay, you live good. But imagine tomorrow you have nothing. You will need help, you know? We have to think about the future, not only when we are when we are living good, you know? We have to, to think about, um, imagine one day I lost every, I lose everything. I, I will, um, I, w I will want someone to help me. So yeah, we have to think like that. Mean. So about concerning me, I always help. I always ready to help because I know that um, people can uh, can become poor uh, really by chance, and sometimes it doesn't depend on them on themselves. But I think that many people thinks uh, think as I've just told uh, that they really worked hard and why they should um, give something to lazy people, maybe. Okay. Uh, Razul, okay. let's say something. Let's go Razul and then Wolf. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Who, 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 sorry, okay. who is that? Razul okay. and then Wolf. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a law of nature. If you think uh, uh, about th uh, that, that uh, every other animal, every bird, First, they they help other. They 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 raise the, their young young birds and they teach them how to fly and all those stuff. It's a law of nature. It's not uh, like uh, it's not like the they are selfish all the time. So it's applied to human also. Do you want your child to be raised? Uh, bad or good you have to teach them the moral values and all ethics of the society okay that's good that's good yeah so again if we look around we can see that you know even animals they have to work together for something okay, good um wolf you were going to say something you can't you, you can't believe the individual like uh, lazy because there are a lot of people that they, they are not lazy, they couldn't find a job because of the system. If you look at uh, economic recession and crisis, a lot of people uh, have to uh, force to quit their job. It's not fair because income income is, uh, income distribution is unfair. In some countries, minimum wage is really uh, enough to survive but in some if you look at some third world countries is a minimum wage is really disgrace around hundred dollars is a uh, it's not enough to survive it's I think all because the related to market some countries really uh, put uh, I mean powerful to manipulate the market it is not uh, going to choose a choice for individual uh, I, I, I I wouldn't blame any individual because if they couldn't find a job, what what people what why what what uh, people are going to do? If you look at the Greece, Greece is in depression, is bankrupt bankruptcy in in recently uh, south side in uh, Greece and in cyber in Greece sites is it's, it's going to collapse. Economy is collapsed. Mm -hmm. I think it's a uh, Spain is followed down. And also Italy, these countries have a problem. If you look at these countries, these countries that a lot of poor people, uh, I mean, uh, unemployment rates increasing every day and every day. These people is not lazy because this economic system is uh, wrong. In some uh, because of is uh, uh, some people, I mean, who runs who run the country like uh, politicians, uh, narrow-minded. Uh, these people, because of really selfishness, cost to society for these people. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, that, that's good, Wolf. I, I think all of you guys, you guys have said some, some good things, some great things. So, like, on one hand, like Mohammed was saying, um, when it comes to us earning money, right, we, we are connected in every way, right? Um, I, maybe I can't get to work 
without the roads that, that people have built, right? I can't have electricity with other people. For me to make money, I depend on other people, right? But again, maybe kind of like uh, Chris was saying, um, I still put the work in. It, it's my time. I spend years studying, right? I spend hours working, right? And it would be unfair for me to give my money to someone that didn't do that work. You know, they have helped, but they still didn't do my work, right? So maybe we could talk about that. And then kind of like uh, Wolf was saying too, there is an income inequality, right? Um, when we talk about doing hard work, we, we can look at something. Let's say you take a CEO of a company, right? A CEO may maybe, I don't know how much they make. Let's say they make a million dollars a year, okay? Um, and they may work 60 hours a week, right? Um, and then you could take maybe an average worker of the company that maybe might work 40 to 60 hours a week, and they only make $40,000, right, a week, or sorry, a, um, a year, right? Um, and then you could say, well, they both work hard. They both put the hours in. Why does the CEO make so, so much more, right? Is he really so much smarter? Is he really so much more productive than the average worker? Is that fair in that sense? Okay. Um, did that make sense, what I just said there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everyone was quiet. I was like, oh, I don't know if they understood that. Yeah, uh, there is a lot uh, in uh, uh, hypotism in our country. Mm -hmm. So there is people working so much hard and people w w not working at all. Mm -hmm. And they got opportunity by hypotism, you know. Right, right. They so speak. life isn't fair. Mm -hmm. I have I have a, a, an example about that. Okay. Um, you know, in France, uh, do you know uh, Cassia, girl who um, you know Cassia? No, no. Cassia. Uh, sorry, in in the supermarket, uh, girl uh, people who um, who sell product, not sell. Uh, you know, in the supermarket. Cashier. Oh, cashier. Oh, okay. Yeah. The cashier. The cashier. Cashier. Yeah, cashier. Uh, the, she. The money of the firm, of the company, depend on her, on the her works, you know, uh, on the works. But the problem is now in France, we try to to uh, switch or to replace these uh, um, uh, workers by machine, you know. Right. right. But this money come from their works, you know, the money, the money that we invest. Mm -hmm. So how can we how can we explain or justify that? Um, Thanks to her, I can uh, fire her, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm clear. No, okay, let me, let me see if I understand correctly. So again, okay. we have cashiers, right? But what happens is eventually the, the, the company might build the, the automatic cashiers, right? The automatic teller where you can check yourself out, right? You can... Yes. Yes, right. So you, you're saying is that I'm helping put the cashier out of work, right? I'm making, I'm helping get them fired because I'm just going to the machines instead, right? I think this, uh, and, and I think this is, uh, this is bad. Because, um, for, this is bad for, first for economy, mm -hmm. because this, this, uh, this worker uh, will not can consume anymore, because they don't have a, a wage. So, and um, there is also a social problem mm -hmm. because uh, they have child, they have children, uh, they, they need money to feed their children. Mm -hmm. We have to, to think uh, about all of this stuff. Right. I, I, think, I think that's a good point because on one hand, you're right. So, if I go to a store and I choose the automatic teller machine, or I choose the machine over going to the cashier, right? then maybe um, less people, or sorry, th there'll be less work for the cashier so that the cashier doesn't have a job, right? And so I put the little guy out of business, okay? Um, but on the other hand, on the other hand, sometimes it's good to have these new advancements, right? So one of the, the beautiful things about capitalism, right, is if I have a lot of money, I can do a lot of money to research things, right? I can create 
beautiful things, wonderful things that, that help humanity, but I need a lot of money to do that, right? So maybe it's better that I have these machines and I squash the little guy because now that I have so much money, I can invest in new ideas and new things to help everyone. But sorry, Eric, you are just focusing on crates, machines, and new technology. It's part of the job. I accept this. But why don't you focus on creates new jobs for economic recovery? You, uh, on the other hand, you have to focus. I mean, you have to focus uh, creates new jobs for economic recovery. It's economy needs fresh blood, not only just machines. Mm -hmm. Machine is good, but on the other hand, if you you can uh, build a new uh, machines for your business line and you earn a lot of money but if you couldn't if you wouldn't find any customer what is the point making a new machine because your economy is going to sink mm -hmm. if you couldn't create new jobs you need customers customer if, if you need customers you have to create other jobs mm -hmm. well, that, that's true that's true you don't want so much income inequality that the poor can't even sustain the rich, right? No, no I mean, uh, if you wouldn't create new jobs, just create a new technology, you wouldn't mm -hmm. find any customers. How are you going to sell your products? R okay, who's, right, going, right. Who's, who's going to buy your products? Right. I mean, so, yeah, so again, if you have too many rich people and not enough poor people, there will be no one with jobs to help the rich people stay rich? No, you have to keep the balance. Right, right. Okay, yeah, I, I think, I think I'm, I think I'm, I don't think I said that right, but I, I think I, I understand your point there, Wolf, right? Is that if you don't have enough people with jobs, right, then you won't have enough people to actually buy the products, right? Sorry, I don't get through what you said. Okay, so if I don't have enough people with jobs, I won't have enough people to buy the products, right? Yeah. You need jobs to buy things, right? Yeah, of course. Yes. So that's what you were saying? Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. Because, okay. Yeah. Not to stay without job, we should, uh, from the beginning, trying to know uh, more profession than one um, for not to lose ourselves in any situation. Uh, explain a little more, Chris. Huh? Ex explain a little more. Um, that uh, if, for example, I'm a teacher and I give a private lesson, mm -hmm. lessons that costs rather big money usually. And now we have such a site as Verbling that proposes very cheap and really useful lessons uh, for all over the world students. And so, in this case, uh, this teacher is going to lose his normal job where he or she um, gets um, much money or as what happens in with your cashes or how you are saying um, she should uh, knowing that uh, such things happening she should learn something new uh, to mm, I don't know to save herself from from losing uh, from staying without any job she should I don't know um, go to some courses uh, I don't know doing what but she should find something else anyway in our life we shouldn't concentrate ourselves on only one thing it's, it's really useful to be concentrated on one thing for doing it better than all the others for example being a really good teacher trying to be a really good one mm -hmm. but um, at the same time you and as every as each person 
always have a possibility to know, uh, to read, to watch, I don't know how, but to know something new mm -hmm. and for to protect yourself from um, from fail. From failing, okay, from failing, yeah. No, I think that that's a good point, right, is yeah. The world is going to move, the world is going to change, and the economy is going to change. It, it may even be a, a sad fact that, you know, the cashier will be put out of business. And then even like you said, Chris, maybe, you know, maybe I could be teaching English and, and make a lot of money, charge a lot of money, right? But then verbally comes along and they say, okay, I'm going to do this a cheaper way, right? And it puts me out of business. I need to prepare for that. I need to do something else to, to make sure I make money, right? Um, mm -hmm. Now, the, the question, though, again, is, is um, does, do we owe the cashier someone? Do, do, do we need to help the cashier get new education, right? Um, to, does the government help me so if I get put out of business by verbling, right, that I can find a new job, right? Is it someone else's responsibility to help me? Can I can I say something about that? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, so, so we are talking about economy. If I remember well, Schumpeter says, do you know Schumpeter? Schumpeter? An economist. I don't no? think so. Go, go ahead and write it in the... In the uh, yeah, I'm going to write it. No, uh, Shumter? No, I don't know. I'm not familiar. Okay, he say uh, uh, technological progress destroy jobs, but uh, unqualified jobs and create qualified jobs. So when when the unqualified jobs are destroyed, we can do nothing for people who lose her, um, their job because we need to 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 form them, you know. Mm -hmm. But this take a long time, mm -hmm. and they need uh, a basis, a basic thing, mm -hmm. you know. For instance, if uh, I want to to be uh, an engineer, or if I want to build a website or something like that, I need to to study um, basic thing, and this it take times. Mm -hmm. Take lo long times, so they don't need. Uh, they need money. These people need money to survive because we are surviving. We are not living yet. <laughs> we are surviving, so they can't spend time on learning anymore. I mean, these people who uh, who lose their job, mm -hmm. you know. So this progress is good and bad. So because uh, well, I'm sorry, but he say that we do need to help those people. We do need to give them money. Uh, not to give them money, but I don't know. It's very, it's very difficult. Um, what can we do for these people? Uh, I don't know. This is so difficult. <laughs> Maybe we, no, 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 no. I have an idea. Um, government. The first, the first uh, job of the government is to ensure um, for all people, uh, not money, but um, good life. It's normal. State have we we pay uh, we pay um, taxes for that you know, right. but the problem is where this tax go. We don't know. We don't have access to that. Mm -hmm. Like I said in the chat box before thinking uh, giving money to the bank or going to moon and going to 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 uh, so spending money f for nothing. In my own opinion, we have first to um, we have first to, to work step by step. Uh, first of all we have to give people a good life when this is done we mm -hmm. can go to another step. Can I yeah. say? Go, go ahead Chris. Yeah I have an idea that uh, it would be really great if at schools, if in schools we have a subject as something like self-selling uh, because I guess there are many, many people who are really great in something, in some domain, but who really can't um, sell themselves uh, to to find the. No, I don't know to to introduce, to present themselves, to right. go to the companies, to find a a really convenient place. Because, um, for example, me being um, an employer. Uh, I would be uh, I would be really uh, interested in finding uh, it's obvious, but I would be really interested in finding 
uh, really good specialists. But sometimes, as I uh, as I can judge by the life, uh, these real sp specialists they are mm, they are sometimes staying at home uh, because they are shy or they have some. Uh, Psychic, not psychic, but psychological problems, mm -hmm. and because of these psych psychological problems, they they can't show themselves to the employers. Right. Who would who would uh, who would hire them? Big chances, but because of their, I don't know, um, closeness, they just can't. And if in schools we had such a subject, I guess, for such people, it would be really useful. I don't know how about America and other countries, but in Russia our education is really theoretical. And uh, we, we are not learned how to, how to find a job, where we can, uh, what we should do. Uh, we are not presented a job. And so we we should find everything ourselves, and nobody um, nobody teaches teached us. And um, in comparison with American uh, schools, in our schools, uh, teachers um, doesn't let us to um, not to go to the lessons. We should absolutely be present there, or if we not, they will call our parents. They will say, um, "Oh, where is your child?" Uh, and such things. In the institute, almost the same. And after that, nobody follows us. We're we're on by by our own, and it's some kind of crisis because it, it doesn't uh, familiar for us that nobody answers for us, that nobody um, pushes us. <laughs> and I guess that's the problem. Yeah, Eric. Do I, I think the solution would be uh, workers' unions, because if you look at uh, some countries, the workers' unions is really powerful. I mean, that the government uh, keep the balance between employer and worker unions. You can't leave the all um, rights to employer hands. You have to give the workers some power. <laughs> this I think this way gonna be work unions. And un if you uh, governments let unions uh, make uh, uh, them is a new kind of law and helpful law. It's going to help for economy because it's uh, going to give both sides. I mean, it creates equality between mm -hmm. employee and employer. I mean, because workers uh, wouldn't be exploited by their employer if mm -hmm. uh, governments make a certain amount of law. I mean, about workers' rights, mm -hmm. uh, employer wouldn't uh, violate the workers' uh, law uh, rights easily because. They club, they clash the uh, laws. I mean walls, mm -hmm. like a wall. Laws is like a walls. It's, I think it's going to be ha ha a one way to make this is workers union. But okay, so yeah, a workers union they they can definitely protect the worker, protect the, the I guess even yeah. the, the cashier, and that that could be a good thing. Okay, you guys, we're coming up to it to an end of the class here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my Facebook page for anyone that is interested in, in giving you suggestions. I'm definitely, I'm going to have some future classes where we're going to talk more about this, about capitalism, we're going to talk about socialism and communism, and even like Wolf said, I, I do want to have a class about workers, uh, workers unions or unions, right? Um, you guys, thank you for your opinions today. They were, they were great. Thank you guys for coming. I'm going to be teaching again next hour. We're going to be talking about zombies. Not the scary zombies, we're going to be talking about philosophical zombies, but it should be fun. Um, so I'm going to end, end and I'm going to start my next class really quick. Actually, I'm going to reset my router first and then I'm going to start. Okay? And I will see you guys later. Thank you for coming.